I'm looking for the top CEOs to come and sit down right next to me and talk about leadership, business, politics, and we've got a lot of questions for Jamie Dimon because he's actually made a billion dollars since the economic crisis. So Jamie, I am inviting you to come right here on my show. I've worked in executive coaching. I'm now a world's top business thinker, a media presenter, and an interviewer. We want to get more women to Davos. We want to get more ladies to Can Lions. And we want to help create a bright future for men and women. And that's why I call it the yin and yang of leadership. We want to get it to 30 to 40%. And we think we can do that by 2020. That's why we have Patreon.com. So head over there, make your donations. And yes, I would like Jamie to fly me to Davos. You know, we are the happiest, healthiest city in the USA now, and we also have the best environment. I've always believed in kind of spreading my money around. I don't believe in just having one bank. But I have been a customer of J.P. Morgan Chase since about 1990s. People want personal service. It's nice, you know, when you do go to the bank, and I probably go like 10 times a year, there was a priest here in Florida who mentioned uh, how poorly he was being treated at J.P. Morgan Chase branch. You're trying to put us into the kiosk department. We are the high-end customers. On Twitter, you're using robots that don't understand what we write. Uh, this is not going to work as a solution for banking, Jamie. So many of the CEOs that watch my channel have taken my ideas for their company, and they have been very successful. They've won awards around the world, whether it's the Can Lions Heart Award or um, the Catalyst Award. But, but we don't get paid. Okay, on YouTube, I'm a micro influencer. So, and we have businesses that revolve around sharing our intellectual capital. I read that nine out of ten experts at Davos are talking about the issue of the charismatic strong man leaders. Some people point to uh, leaders like Donald Trump, but they're the equivalents on the liberal side of uh, a Mark Benioff or a George Soros. He was um, seen in a photograph with Ajay Banga, the CEO of MasterCard, about wanting to promote more migration. And so, you know, I've had the chance to meet uh, Ajay Banga's wife. She's a lovely woman. We had, you know, a long conversation at a Harvard cocktail party. You know, so many of these CEOs are global. There are a lot of women in Western countries who are very worried about open borders. Those young men are not being monitored by sisters, mothers. They can get into a lot of trouble. And there are some new issues popping up like the Me Too movement. You don't want men coming into your daughter's bathroom or locker room. Okay, so this is like common sense to most women. What I've seen is when the CEO gets into trouble, the PR person gets out there and starts promoting him as a, a leader of helping women. And I think it's more important to hear from the women about the Me Too movement. And that's another thing that I would love to discuss at the World Economic Forum because, you know, one of my favorite questions to ask people is, if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? And I would be a swan. Uh, because they are feminine, but also fearless. So I think we need more swans at Davos. I got up the ranks and achieved managing director and executive search, uh, having never dated anyone in the office. Perhaps because my father was a CEO and was well known, as the world becomes smaller, does that mean that I can't work on any project at a Fortune you know, 100 company just because I know the CEO? I mean, that's going to eliminate a lot of assignments and I would like to talk with some of the you know top experts on Me Too uh, whether it be uh, the CEOs, management consultants, the lawyers, anchors who have experienced it in the media business and I would like to have um, the feminine leader voice be heard because I do think we need to talk a lot more about these issues. So we are very interested in getting all the women who are one-person companies, which is about 90% of the female-owned companies in America are still one person. Uh, investors, we're interested in investing in the ladies and getting them up and running. So if any of you would like to contribute to my new media business, you can hop on over to angel.co and read my credentials. As I remember at that Wall Street Journal breakfast, right before the U.S. election, when the CEOs were asked who's going to win the election, 
all the hands went up for Hillary Clinton, which is a big mystery to me because I predicted that Donald Trump was going to win. We're just trying to help here. Okay, let me check the camera. It's the Logitech Brio 4K camera. It's quite sophisticated. Packaging was such that it said that you could change the backgrounds and do all kinds of fancy things. Uh, apparently, you need other software to do that. They need to update their YouTube channel to make it more user-friendly to women and entrepreneurs. It's really geared more towards gamers. So I would just say to the CEO of Logitech, um, I know one of my dear friends who's a CEO knows you personally. I noticed when I recorded this initially that things were flickering over here and over here. So just remember one thing, leadership can look like this. I actually was an executive coach to one of the top female executives who left JP Morgan Chase. And Jamie, I had contacted you on Twitter, although you're not on Twitter, but and I've even offered to have a Davos here in Florida. And the World Economic Forum actually placed me on the cover of the Davos Debates video of Selected Entrance. And I invite all of you to join the Davos CEO Pledge. So become a patron of my channel. You can do a one-time payment or on a monthly basis. I'm Sandra Rupp. I'd like to thank the whole world for watching. Broadcasting from the number one happiest, healthiest city in the USA. Thank you so much for watching. And especially promoting more women to Executive Row and to your board.